determine whether the given orthogonal set of vectors is orthonormal. If not, normalize the vectors to form an orthonormal set. So to begin, let's recall that a set of vectors in Rn is called an orthonormal set if it is an orthogonal set of unit vectors. So in this example, we already know that these two vectors are orthogonal. So to get us started, we need to check if these vectors are unit vectors. So thinking about the vector v sub 1 first, I'm going to factor out that common scalar multiple of 1 half. So I have 1 half times the vector with components 1, 1. And now computing the magnitude, we have 1 half multiplied by the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, plus 1 squared, which is 1, which leaves us with the square root of 2 over 2, which, of course, we know that does not equal 1. Rats. Well, let's see what's going on with vector v sub 2. Again, I'm going to pull out that common scalar 1 half. So I have 1 half multiplied by the vector with components 1, negative 1. And finding the length, we have 1 half multiplied by the square root of 1 plus 1. So we can again see the square root of 2 by 2 certainly does not equal 1. Rats. So since the length of v sub 1 and the length of v sub 2 do not equal 1, we know that this set of vectors v sub 1 and v sub 2 is not an orthonormal set. But that's okay. Let's go ahead now and normalize these vectors to attain an orthonormal set. And giving ourselves just a little bit more room. Starting with vector v sub 1, I'm going to go ahead and let vector u sub 1 be equal to vector v sub 1 by the magnitude of vector v sub 1. So now that vector v sub 1 is defined as 1 half times the vector with components 1, 1, all divided by the square root of 2 over 2, which leaves us with 2 by the square root of 2, multiplied by 1 half times the vector with components 1, 1. And we can see those 2s cancel each other out to 1, leaving us with the vector or the scalar multiple 1 by the square root of 2 times the vector 1, 1. Now for vector v sub 2, let's go ahead and define a vector u sub 2 as being equal to vector v sub 2 by the magnitude of vector v sub 2. So this is equal to 1 half multiplied by the vector with components 1, negative 1, divided by the square root of 2 over 2, which we can simplify to 2 by the square root of 2, multiplied by 1 half, times the vector with components 1, negative 1. And again, we see those 2s cancel each other out to 1, leaving us with 1 by the square root of 2, multiplied by the vector with components 1, negative 1. So we can say, therefore, the set of vectors u sub 1, u sub 2, which we attained by normalizing vector v sub 1 and v sub 2. So these are the vectors with components 1 by the square root of 2, 1 by the square root of 2. And vector u sub 2 is the vector with components 1 by the square root of 2 minus 1 by the square root of 2. This set of vectors is an orthonormal set. So this is a set of orthogonal vectors that are also unit vectors, making this our beautiful final answer.